let's go over to Matt with some special guests in studio. Thank you very much, Abby. Accurate forecasts mean money for nonprofits in our community. We welcome a trio of guests here today. Trent Urban is here from Wire Not Home Services. Thanks for being here. Casey Norton is here. She's one of the therapists at Hope Mountain Behavioral mm -hmm. Health. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We'll get to you in a second, but I'm going to start off with Jeff Mowry, who is the president and CEO of Hope Mountain Behavioral Health. Jeff, welcome. Tell us a little bit about Hope Mountain. Yeah, thanks. So we became a nonprofit four years ago, but we originally started seven years ago. We started on the streets, under bridges, on railroad tracks, giving away free psychotherapy and case management. Um, it, it's grown into something that I didn't see it growing into. We're all over the state now, uh, several different towns within the state. And yeah, so we work with uh, people that are houseless. We work with mainly the under underprivileged. Sure. Um, we work with people that are uh, homeless vets and different things like that. And what we try to do is fill in the gaps where people can't afford. So if they don't have money, we try to get grants that help pay for their psychotherapy. If they have insurance but they can't afford their copay, we try to help with that sure. because there's such a gap there. Sure. Uh, the goal is to just bring help where it is not, bring uh, great mental health services where they don't exist. So. so obviously a big need, and you talked about how it started. Why did it start? That's a good question. Thanks, Matt. Uh, why did it start is because I spent time on the streets myself and I could not find psychotherapy. Mm. Uh, I thought I had it one time and the lady gave me a bus ticket and I, when I left I said, well, when am I going to get therapy? And they go, that was it. All oh. she did was give me in the, okay. uh, a bus ticket. So when I was 27, I had my head on a black bag uh, out in front of the Tulsa Day Center for the Homeless. I lifted my head up and I looked around and I said, one day I'm going to change this for all of you. And that was 20 years ago. That's, that's incredible. That's why it started. Oh, thanks for sharing that. Yeah. That, that's incredible. That's very cool. All right, uh, Casey, let's talk to you. Uh, talk about a little bit about, as one of the therapists, mm -hmm. sort of the importance of the work that you're doing. Oh my goodness. I mean, words can't even describe the importance of it. It's just such a fulfilling job just to speak with others and just to hear their story and just to be on their journey alone. I mean, I myself has grown as a therapist and then helping others become a therapist as well as a supervisor. I mean, I learn a lot from my clients and they can learn a lot from us too. So it's just a full circle. And what's the, the biggest impact that you've seen in your work? If you have a specific example that comes mm. at top of mind. Oh, that's a great <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The biggest impact is honestly just getting to hear other people's stories and seeing the lives that they live and just being on the journey with them, honestly, and just being able to be with them for five seconds to give them that support and validation and let mm. them be heard. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that makes an incredible sense. What's the money going to be used toward? I think I have an idea sure. since you kind of talked about it before. But. Yeah, I know where psychotherapy is needed and people can't pay for it and also case management within the community. Okay. There's several different areas, but that primarily is what it'll be used Okay, for. if someone needs help or if someone wants to learn more, maybe support you guys in the mission that you're doing, how can they do so? Mm -hmm. They can find us online on our website at myhopemountain.org. They can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at myhopemountain too. Awesome. Trent, I mean, this obviously it makes a lot of sense, the work that they're doing. It sure does, yeah. Why is a, a, a company like yours, why is it important to Wirenut to come alongside these organizations that are doing great work for the underserved? Um, I guess <coughs> as they were talking, I was thinking about like the, the fork in the road that you took, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one of hope and, and improvement and being on TV in the future. <laughs> or... Uh, on the streets and hopeless and nobody cares and nobody's helping you and there's no resources. And so uh, if you can help in that fork in the road and, and help more people, I think uh, mental health, uh, what'd you call it, psycho, um, psychotherapy. psychotherapy, all of that I think is a um, relatively unknown and also sometimes polarizing, sometimes misunderstood um, sure. situation. Sure. And so if we can help with that, and in our case, just help fund it, but you know, via the viewers, and I mean, you guys are the ones that voted, not us. You know, right. we're, we're honoring the vote and coming on and getting to know them, but uh, you're the ones out there doing the work, and so we're just doing our small part of that. 
Awesome. Well, for the work that you've done already, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. And for the continued work ahead, best of luck to you and encouragement in, in the journey you. that you guys are doing. Thank you for your support mm -hmm. of like. not just Hope Mountain Behavioral Health this month, but all of the charities that we've helped. We're over like $70,000. I got to yeah. add it up again. It's going <laughs> yeah. up fast yeah. every it's month. It's been a while since yeah, we did it. We, we have. So let's bring Joey in for the uh, check presentation oh. $1,680 <laughs> to Hope Mountain Behavioral Health. We uh, know that you guys will make good use out of that, so uh, mm -hmm. continued success to everything you're doing. We already have the charity that we're supporting this month, but we're looking forward to the months ahead. If you have a charity that's important to you, nominate them for the Wire Not Home Services 3 Degree Guarantee at fox21news.com. And we I have a really yeah, quick thing. Yeah, Shout out to Charles, Dozman, and family. They're going through very trying times part of our team, so I just had to do it. Okay, Thanks. thank you. We, we come alongside you guys yeah. uh, with that work. We'll have a look at weather when we come back, and you're watching Fox 21.